season. As I say, if any of you that helped us last Sunday have got half an hour just to help us drop the ropes off the stakes, pick up the white pegs, gather some things in, just clear up the common. When I followed Chelsea in first in Preston, young man, Joe Perez for Preston. Had Fly to JJ going up and down a few times. Now we've got Alibi's Dream and Robert Lloyd coming towards us. We've seen him run this afternoon already. Four out of ten, uh, Robert. Four out of ten. You know it's three laps what you get to me. So if you get giddy going around here, it's not my fault. Then we've got. Half, half penny, and it's Ellie Bevan on half penny, is it? Then we've got Aero Smith, and there's Rattlesnake Rosie and Tracy Gale. I'm going to have some fun here for picking up these new drivers. Right to JJ, Matthew Troman. Right, I think I've got all the names of all the drivers. Tracy Gale is driving Rattlesnake Rosie, Andrew Hardwick, Aerosmith, Matt Stroman, Spidey JJ, Ellie Bevan, Half Penny, Robert Lloyd, Otherwise Dream, and Liam Middleton on the Airfella. So, take him down, Robert. Take him down, Robert. So, quite a tight hand to come here, Jay. Does stay very well. They turn around, Rattlesnake Rose is off the game. We can see by you, JJ. Aerosmith, again, not quite up on his mark. Andrew will educate him coming in. At the back is here, fella. White flags raised. Go! And away they go. And in front, it looks like Alibi's dream from the four white draws gets to the front. In second place is Rattlesnake Rosie, then we've got half penny, flies to JJ, here Fenner, and again Aerosmith is last out of the gate, round the Presley, then they go, and in front, Alibi's Dream weighs anchor, and starts to try and slow the race up. Will Blythe to JJ do the same as he did her before, and go to the front? No, but half penny will. It's an alibi dream on the outside of a half penny. Then in third is Rattlesnake Rosie. Blyview JJ is in fourth. Then we've got Airfella and Aerosmith. Two and a half laps left to run in the final race of our 2021 season. One of the few mile and a half races that we have. And this is a group mile and a half, I can tell you. It's near a mile and three quarters almost. Round the boxes they come by the cool bend and still in front. It's Alibi's dream. Half penny, rattlesnake rosie. Then we've got by few JJ here, fella, and this Aerosmith pulling out there. It looks like Rattlesnake Rosie's pulling out to make a move. Very early to go yet. Let's hope she can count to three. In front it's Rattlesnake Rosie just coming past. Alibi's dream. Keep straight in the outside salty. Keep straight in that salty. In third place, it's still half penny. By the JJ. Two laps to run. That's 900 metres left to run in the mile and a half race. In front, it's still Alibi's dream. From in second place, Rattlesnake Rosie. In third, half penny. Blyview JJ. Oh, he makes a mistake, Blyview JJ. 
And up the inside comes Air Ferret into fourth place. Now we'll see what JJ can do. In, and up the back is Aerosmith. He was sat full of running, but for some reason, just walked his stride on that bend. He's still, Alibi's dream in front. In second place, nudging up the inside is the little half penny. Then in third place, is Rattlesnake Rosie. Air fellas right there. Why do JJ's breathing down there next? And a Justin Touch is Aerosmith. Around the cool bend, they're jostling for position as they come into the home straight. There's five furlongs left to run. In this mile and a half race, they come for the bell. Pulling out again is a Rattlesnake Rosie. Also, Blythe View JJ's pulled out. Up the inner ear, fellas trying to make ground. But still in front is Alibi's Dream. He was the fastest out of the gate and he's still there. Half penny in second place. Then we've got Rattlesnake Rosie. Blythe View JJ's looking for it out there. He's going to have to go right round the outside, I think. As in front, Alibi's Dream kicks. Look at the run, Aerosmith got up the inner there. Aerosmith goes up into fourth place. But in front, Alibi's Dream has kicked. He's gone three lengths clear of half penny. Following half penny is Air Fella. After Air Fella is Aerosmith. Blyview JJ is back in fifth. And he won't be winning this, I don't think. They go to the Cone Bend. This is a very canny drive by Robert Lloyd. He's turning the clock back here with this drive. He's still got four lengths in front at Alibi's Dream. He got out of the gate, got to the front and dictated the pace. He set the fractions to what suits his pony. And as he hits the home straight, he will take some sort of beating now. It's Alibi's Dream for Sam Lloyd of Gate in front. Then we've got Half Benny. I can see on the outside Aerosmith making a run. Coming with Aerosmith. Is he a fella? Will he get home? Alibi Dream. Half Penny is coming. Half Penny is coming. Alibi Dream wins the last race of the season. I think in the middle half, Penny was second. Hero Smith third. Then Blaze of JJ, Air Fella, and Rattlesnake Rose. That's a good way to make the season on. And a very, very happy drive by Robert Lloyd, the local winner of the last. And it's brought in common for Sam Lloyd with Alibi 3. Now you can tell how long a race it was in a time of 4 minutes 5.05. First, number eight, Alibi's Dream, property of Sam Lloyd, trained by her, driven by her father, Robert. Second, 12, Halfpenny, owned Ken Lloyd, director, trained by the hard and stable, driven by Devon. And third, number nine, Aerosmith, owned by the Williams family of Brecon, trained and driven by Andrew Harder. Here's Robert coming now. Big congratulations there. You wound the clock back there, Rob, didn't you? Well done. Come out of the gate, four wide. Only just got back out of the track down there. Sprinted home. And a big thank you to the sponsor. The Walker family. Thank you very, very much for coming over with me for this afternoon. Tremendous support. I'd like to say a very good evening to you all. It's been a pleasure to do the commentating this season and to make many, many more friends in Mid Wales in the racing. I really enjoyed myself. I hope I managed to get away with my Radnisher accent and commentating. But to all of you, thank you for your support this year. It's been very much appreciated. Hope to